You're going to want to remove the negative off the battery. It's an 8 millimeter. Take that off. There's an airbag sensor in that door panel. This should be. Put that to the side. Make sure it's tucked out of the way. All right, so to get the door panel off, there is a Phillips screw in here. Um, there's a couple bolts under the door. There's one there, one there. There's a little trap door right there, and you need a, a pick to get the cover up. You see? Oh boy. It kind of just lifts up like that. There's two bolts under there. And right under the handle, there's another bolt right there. There's a little trap door. If you use a pick, it's loose, so it might fly out on you. So these are all 7 millimeter sockets. There's two 7 millimeters there. That one's a 7 mil right in there. And then the ones underneath, that's a 7 mil. That's a 7 mil. And uh, like I said, you get this Phillips screw right there at the edge of the panel. So I'm going to zap all those off real quick. Not even tight. There's one right down here. And you get the spilled screw right here. And take that right out. Looks like there's a lens that's coming out with it. So there's like some clips on this panel, and we're kind of gingerly getting it up and out of the way. There you go. It just came free in the top. See, I've got to kind of jiggle it around a little bit and lift up, which I kind of knew. And uh, there's not like those plasticky uh, clips, the push clips on the back of the door panel. It all kind of, I'll show you when we get it off what they look like. They're all like fingers and stuff. So now you've got to get in here and you've got to undo like the um, switch harness. And they just kind of push and pull off. Here's the other one. So you want to do all your connectors. And there's, yeah, there's one right there, right at the end there. And there you go. So now it should be free. So this is what the back side of the door panel looks like. Turn it around, Brian. So if you've ever taken a door panel off before, a lot of, a lot of times the door panels have those push pins. They always snap. What's nice about this Ford one is they kind of slide down and hook in, which I knew, but we're, I was kind of trying to be careful with it. And uh, you just kind of got to jiggle it around and, and lift it up. The first thing you need to do is pop this out while you lift up. Is that what helped you? Okay. That's what... That was that's what was limited from going up all the way. Okay. So just get a an interior tool and pop that out. Yep. Okay. So there's four speaker bolts. There's one there, one there, one there, and one up here. And those are eight mil too, Brian. Yes. Okay. And there's like a squeeze clip on the back, so you just squeeze the tab and pull out. There you go. Put the speaker back into place. Just full bolts to hold it in. A couple of wires. There's one. Eight millimeter, Brian. Uh, yeah. I had an eight mil out. Yeah, those are eight mil. Seven millimeter. Seven millimeter. I'm sorry. The eight millimeter is the battery. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> the 
these are aggressive threads, so just, just barely tighten them in with this type of gun. All right, so now we're just gonna hook up all of our accessories, uh, the tweeter, and then the locks, the power locks, the switches, window switches, and that right there. Uh, come towards me, Brian. Push that up in the place. And then... Okay. Put that up in the place. And then let's see, you got a couple more. up like that and this gray one goes into the bottom okay a little tug make sure they're all set should be good now you gotta hook all these hooks back into the place just to put the door panel on you gotta make sure your door lock goes up through it All right, so with the door panel on, I'm gonna put my Phillips screw back into place and uh, a couple bolts down here and one in here and a couple in the door pull and it should be good to go.